How's everyone doing? This is just going to be a video asking you what movie you think I should watch tonight. I'm either going to stay in and watch The Light Between Oceans with uh, Michael Fassbender and Alicia Vikander who is, oh my gosh, so stunning. She might be my number one celebrity crush now. Used to be Shannon Sossman for ages, but oh, oof. She made the Danish girl for me. Uh, and then Rachel Weisz is in here as well. Heard some great things about this one. and uh, Or either Queen of Katwai with um, Lupita Nyong'o, who was fantastic in 12 Years a Slave. Heard great things about this one as well. Or I'm going to go to my local theater and finally see La La Land or Hidden Figures or Fences or Patriot Day. Those are the ones, the big ones that they have at my local movie theater. I still really want to see Manchester by the Sea, which is not at my theater. Um, I don't know if it's just like a limited release, if I missed it already, I guess I must have because it's not on the listing. I went through the listing and wasn't on there. So I really want to see that one. I really want to see um, L as well, which I think is a French film, which I don't think has a release. I want to see Dangle. Um, I think I want to see Patterson as well, which they didn't have Patterson either. So those are like the main ones I really want to see that I haven't seen so far. And I want to make my uh, top 10 and then maybe a top 20 favorite movies of 2016 or best movies of 2016 list. So far I've seen a ton of people posting on here and I think my list is going to be very different from most people's list. I saw Moonlight and I think that's the most overrated movie I've seen this year. That had so much hype. I can't log on to Facebook without seeing some kind of advertisement for it. I just, I thought it was a decent movie. I just didn't think it was great or, you know, to be considered on a top 10 list for me personally. I just, I didn't think it was that moving, that special. I think they really uh, underutilized um, Mahershala Ali, his character. He should have been in it for a lot longer. Uh, there was just parts where it just dragged with no dialogue, and it just—I get the sense of longing and uh, you know trying to find yourself and loneliness and all of that. And I really like the actor at the end who played uh, the lead character, um, but to me, just it wasn't worth all the hype. For me, it was the most overrated movie of the year for 2016, but I digress. Um, but yeah, so far, my list is looking very different. And I will say, big shout out to um, uh, Matt the Scumbag. He was the only person that I've seen so far that has uh, Blue Jay on the list, which is most likely going to be on my list. For me, that movie was a fantastic, refreshing movie. It felt so honest and sincere and authentic. It, to me, it's... A like 20 year reunion of Ben Folds 5 song, The Br uh, Brick. If you've ever heard the song uh, Brick by Ben Folds 5, it was really big when I was in like high school. It's like a 20 year anniversary of that song. That's what that movie is, Blue Jay. But oh, love the acting in it. And the ending is just right here. Um, but yeah, so that's probably going to be on the list. I'll go ahead and tell you some of the ones on here. Uh, there's a documentary that I have on my list that I haven't heard anybody talk about. I want to do full movie reviews. I used to do a lot of movie reviews. I'm going to get back into that for sure. But Under Fire, the untold story of um, prior first class Tony Vaccaro, an amazing film. Uh, he's alive still and he goes back to a lot of these places uh, from World War uh, II and where he was. He took all these photographs. I can't remember. There's like thousands of photographs or something like that. And they were basically uh, uncovered semi-recently. And it's just going through his accounts of where he was during the war and going back to those places and showing some of the pictures and talking about it. That was an incredibly moving documentary. Um, Children of the Mountain, which I haven't heard anybody talk about that one as well. Uh, it's a, an African film. I can't remember, um, was it Ghana? I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly which country it was from, uh, but it's, it's an African film and it's basically about a woman who gives birth to uh, a child who has cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, and like a cleft lip. and. You know, it's really uh, kind of like backwards of how they feel like they should, you know, they're saying to give the child up and, you know, it's a curse and she's all that kind of stuff. So it's, that's really heart wrenching as well. I like a lot of depressing movies. <laughs> uh, it's a theme, but that, that one I haven't heard anybody talk about and it's an incredible movie. Uh, Sing Street, which I have, I was, I was hesitant. I didn't think I was going to like Sing Street. Um, I, again, it's just one of those ones I heard every time movies really talked up, I'm usually kind of let down. Sing Street was near perfection for me so that was on there nocturnal animals as well uh autopsy of jane doe and the witch par is my favorite genre so those got to be on there and the whaling i haven't seen anybody put the whaling on their top 10 list at least somebody might i think maybe one person might have but that for me is an incredible film uh the fundamentals of caring which is uh, another one that i haven't seen anybody talk about i thought that was an incredible movie um 
I like The Rival, but I don't know if I would put it in my top 10. I just, it's like right there. Uh, Amy Adams, she has such a stoic way of her acting. I felt the same way in uh, Nocturnal Animals. Um, but yeah, both those movies were fantastic. Uh, again, Neon Demons right there, Green Room's right there for me. I really liked Hunt for the Wilder People, uh, Deep Water Horizon. Uh, there's a lot of ones that are just right there on the cusp for me. But yeah, I got to see La La Land. I want to see uh, Patterson. I want to see Manchester by the Sea. Uh, Dangal, L, Silence as well. Um, but yeah, Patriot Day. Uh, I'm just rambling. All the ones that I've talked about already. Um, uh, fences. Uh, so yeah, but uh, I don't think L or Dangal or Manchester by the Sea... Uh, or Patterson are going to be ones that I'm going to be able to, to watch before I make this list. Uh, so I'm a little bit bummed about that. La La Land, I, everybody's raving. So many people put that as their number one. I'm not really that big into musicals. I hated Chicago. Uh, there's very few musicals I've enjoyed. Um, I think Chicago's one of the worst Oscar winners ever, along with Crash. I know a lot of people love Crash, but I didn't. Um, but I do really like Singing in the Rain. That's like my favorite musical. So I saw a couple clips and like just some of the way that they were dancing kind of had a little bit of that feel to it, that vibe. I think there's a scene where uh, Ryan Gosling does kind of like a twirl around a lamppost kind of thing. I don't know if I'm making that up in the, in the trailer. But uh, I can't picture him singing. I don't know. <laughs> but Emma Stone is stunning. But I like uh, Ryan Gosling as uh, when he does those kind of brooding roles. I think he's just great in that. He always does those characters very well. But yeah, so let me know what movie I should watch. Uh, the ones that I mentioned, La La Land, um, uh, Fences, Patriot Day, uh, again, or should I, should I stay in and watch um, The Light Between Oceans or uh, Queen of Katwai with uh, Lupita Nyong'o? Um, let me know what movies I should watch. And again, those are some of my top movies so far of 2016, which I mentioned already. The Wailing, Under Fire, Untold Story of PFC, Tony Vaccaro, Children of the Mountains, Sing Street, Nocturnal Animals, Autopsy of Jane Doe, uh, The Witch, Fundamentals of Caring. I also really like Cardboard Boxer, which I talked about before. Uh, Nirja is another one. The African Doctor. I like The Accountant way more than I was expecting, but I don't know if I could put it on my... It's not going to be in my top 10. It'll probably be in my top 20. Again, uh, The Tiger was a really good one. American Honey, uh, Neon Demon, The Shallows, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Midnight Special, uh, 13 Hours, um, War Dogs I enjoyed too. Um, yeah, those are just... Hell or High Water would be like I don't know if it even makes my top 20. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I love Ben Foster. Um, 30 Days of Night is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. He was fantastic in that role there, too. He's been around for so long. I like Mr. Church with Eddie Murphy, too. I don't, didn't really hear too many people talk about that one. That was actually uh, really emotionally moving. Uh, the Nice Guys was a, an excellent one. Um, 13th was something that's going to be a polarizing one, but I thought it was definitely worth checking out. Um, Swiss Army Man. There's a whole bunch of different ones that... Those are just some of my favorites so far, but I still have a bunch I really want to see. Let me know uh, what movies you think I should watch as well uh, that I didn't mention that you think deserve to be on a top 10 or top 20 of 2016. And let me know what movie I should watch tonight uh, or the ones that I mentioned in the theater. Because if I'm going to go to the theater, I got like uh, an hour to get ready to go to hit the theater. Uh, although they have it uh, later at night as well, too. They have another replay for most of those movies. Uh, and let me know what you're watching tonight as well. This is kind of a quick vlog, and there you go. Pick which one for me to watch. I, I might come back and watch. If I go to the movie theater, I'll probably come back and watch one of these as well. Because I feel like when I go to the movie theater, I can sit through a movie. And I remember back in the day, I could go through a couple movies at the theater. But now I, I get, like, way too tired. I feel more like if I'm in the comfort of my own home... I can relax a little bit more, but if I'm at the theater, I just feel like I'm not, if I, I can't make it through two movies in the theater anymore, I feel like. I gotta have a good intermission, a long period right there, and, you know, get back in it, kind of rejuvenate. Uh, but let me know again about the movies, uh, which ones um, that I should watch tonight, and what you're gonna watch, and what movies I should uh, check out for top movies of 2016, if you didn't hear me mention them already. And if you haven't checked out some of the movies that I mentioned, which I don't think many people have, check them out. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care.